bnhphotovideo.com, the one-stop shop for all your photography and videography needs. From amateur productions all the way up to professional, BNH has got you covered. What's up, internet? JD Nitro here to bring you another As Seen on TV product review, and this time it's another product by the folks at Bulbhead. This is the Hurricane Spin Scrubber. Let's get it! Oh yeah, Hurricane Spin Scrubber does the hard work for you, exclamation point, yeah. It has powerful 300 RPM cleaning action. Let's get excited for that. Cleaning action includes three scrubbing heads, exclamation point, because you know, you can never have too many scrubbing heads. And it's a number one bestseller. Number one bestselling what? I have to ask, is this the number one bestselling bathroom scrubber? Because as far as I know, this is the only bathroom scrubber on the market. Who's in second place? Who's the number two bestseller? I think we have a right to know. As seen on TV, and it's a bulb head product. So that can mean only one thing. I have no idea what to expect. As we all know, bulb head products can be hit and miss. Could be good, could be crap. Around on the back. It removes mold, soap scum, hard water stains, rust, mineral deposits, and more! Exclamation point! <laughs> and we have a nice picture of the product, and there are the three scrubbing heads. So, pretty standard as seen on TV product packaging. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so right out of the box, we have a special offer on replacement brushes. Very thoughtful. All three brushes are only $14.99 plus shipping and handling. Now that makes perfect sense because one thing about scrub brushes, they do wear out over time and you may need replacements. So we'll hold on to this. Anything on the back of that? Da! Ah, da! Ah. That fake diamond jewelry again! This is starting to work on my nerves. Every time I unbox a bulb head product, there it is, fake diamond jewelry for only $20. Isn't the love of your life worth $20? Give the love of your life a fake diamond ring that'll probably turn her finger green. It's very, very irritating. Tell me in the comments section, do you guys want me to review this fake diamond jewelry? Because I feel compelled at this point. It keeps showing up, making all kinds of unwanted cameo appearances in my videos. I think I'm going to have to review this. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that. Instructions. Nice standard product instructions. And of course we have the Hurricane Spinner itself or hurricane scrubber, I should say. And there's the head. Does not adjust. Extension rod and the power handle which houses the battery. Mm -hmm. A decent on-off switch. I wish it was a little more clicky. Yeah, I think they should have put a clickier button on there. Charging port. Nice rubber cover there to keep the water and cleaning detergents out. And the three scrubbing brushes. Pointed brush, flat brush, and a cone or bulb brush. Now would you look at that? Look at that. Some of the bristles are curving down here for some reason due to poor packaging. 
then of course the wall charger now I do appreciate that yeah it does have a little bit of a power brick but it's manageable it's a manageable power brick it could have been a lot bigger this is an acceptable size in my opinion just snaps right on snaps off snap another one on so it seems simple enough the only question now is how well does it clean So what are my thoughts on this motorized bathroom scrubber? It's fairly decent. That is to say it's moderately okay. Which is the same as saying it's borderline not worth your money. Now before I get into an angry tirade, let me first address the pros, the very few that there are. Pro number one, it's a good idea. Even I have to admit that the concept of a motorized bathroom scrubber is a good idea, a way to make cleaning the bathroom easier, faster. I'm all for that. Pro number two, you get not one, not two, but three. Three brush heads to accommodate all of your bathroom cleaning needs. I especially like this one, this nice pointed one, for getting into those tight nooks and crannies in the corners of the tub and shower surround. This is a good idea. Unfortunately, that is where the pros stop, and now we can get into the real meat of this review, the cons. Con number one, it's not powerful enough. It is not powerful enough. The packaging says it delivers 300 revolutions per minute, 300 RPM. You think that that's a great uh, number there, 300 RPM? Awesome, that's like a power tool, right? <laughs> Wrong. This thing is lacking in the torque department, and I can prove my point. Observe as I turn it on. I can stop it with my hand. I know some of you might not get why this is a problem yet. Let me explain. You can't put a lot of pressure on it when you're using it, okay? 300 RPM, 300 revolutions per minute is a good speed. But if you don't have a sufficient amount of torque behind it, you're not doing a lot, okay? What you guys saw in that demonstration was the bottom of my shower after two weeks of not cleaning it, two weeks of soap scum and dead skin cells, and this thing just barely has enough torque to bust through it. Which brings me to con number two, the battery. 
it's not big enough. In that demonstration, it took roughly, roughly six minutes or so to clean the bottom of the shower, which you would think, for the amount of dirt that was in the bottom of the shower, that's not bad, right? Sure, except for the fact that when I was done cleaning the bottom of the shower, I had no more power to clean the walls of the shower. Okay, six minutes or so of use and the battery is dead. This is a big problem because uh, <laughs> you need to clean the entire shower, not just the bottom of it. And I know some of you are saying, well, JD, just recharge it. <laughs> Say hello to con number three. Slow charge time. It takes eight hours to charge this thing. Eight hours? Are you kidding me? Now, to be fair, to be fair, Bulbhead does not tell us what size battery is in here, how many milliamp hours. It's not in the instruction manual. But apparently, it's not very big since you only get six minutes of use out of it, and then it takes eight hours to charge it. A huge problem. Con number four, and I can't believe that Bulbhead uh, overlooked something like this. The battery is built in. It's an internal battery. You cannot replace it. You cannot swap it. Massive problem. Okay, It wouldn't be a big deal if you could switch this battery out put it on a charger and throw in a freshly charged one. But that's not an option. All you can do is plug it in and wait eight hours. Another problem with not having a swappable battery is eventually this battery is going to stop holding a charge. Okay, that is the nature of rechargeable batteries. You can only recharge them so many times and then eventually they don't hold any more power. They, the, uh, the battery uh, cell just goes bad. Guess what? You gotta throw the whole thing away and buy another one. Con number five, poor construction. Poor construction. Looking at this, it seems pretty solid and it feels solid when you're using it like this, but when you take the motorized head off and add in the extension rod to give you a little more reach, it feels very rickety. Rickety, 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 rickety. The bottom line for the Hurricane Spin Scrubber, it gets a final score of 4 out of 10. Do not buy it. It's simply not worth your money. And that's going to do it for this product review. I, of course, am JD Nitro. Liking, commenting, subscribing, and turning on those notifications is the official order for doing things. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm out.